name's Lynn Roddy. I'm the owner of uh, the branch home instead down, based in Tavistock, where we cover Tavistock and Tamar Valley. I'm also uh, the chair of uh, our local Dementia Alliance, which is an Alzheimer's initiative um, set up a few years ago now. And I'm the co-founder of Cycling Well Age West Devon and East Cornwall. So I actually trusted of a couple of other charities, but let's leave it to them today, because those are the ones that really were involved with the, with, um, the projects. Um, who's been to Dartmoor? Ooh, fewer. I could say, don't come, because we want to keep it to ourselves, but no. Dartmoor's beautiful, um, yeah, beautiful part of the country, as is Tavistock. Um, please, I hope this may be inspiring you to come down um, and visit us. Okay, some of um, the photos from our project to start with. Um, I'm actually, I'll come back to those, but. So, Home Instead uh, to start with, it's a franchise. Um, many of you may come across it across um, the country, uh, particularly, you know, maybe here in London. I set up my Home Instead in 2018. Um, I had had a 16 year career as an army officer. Then I left to look after my kids and their mum got sick. Um, so I, I spent some time not as the main carer of the mum, because mum lived independently until she went into a care home with dementia. Okay, so really good point that's been made this morning. So mum, uh, it's a single mum for all of our time growing up, um, fiercely independent. My father died when I was one. So she brought us up, um, a nurse, you know, ended up working in care homes as a, and as Marie Curie nurse, the last job. So mum knew what was coming. Mum really knew what was coming. So, you know, it was really challenging. Um, I knew nothing. I knew nothing at that stage. I knew nothing about the care sector. I knew nothing about dementia. Um, it was all new to me. So, um, yeah, mum taught me a lot. Bless them. Um, so it was a huge gap out, out in the market. So um, I set up Home Instead um, in 2018. Two years later, you know what's coming next. Um, we're CQC outstanding. You know, we work very hard for that. That's really important to us. Um, so 2018, 2020 come COVID. So it's been a roller coaster mm. for that period of time. What's really key about the mentality of Home Instead is community engagement. Can I just ask your view? What do you think about home care? What's, what we do it springs to mind about home care? Kegs, like the like Expensive. Why is it expensive? Mm -hmm. Why is it expensive? Well, so it's big mentality. Yes, because of who? People. We need to pay people, don't we, to do it. That's why it's expensive. Chris. So very often it's not person centred. It's not person centred. What do we mean by person centred? Like a client that very careful. I'd like things to be done that I would like to do. <coughs> and not just a general thing and this isn't fear and in. But if you're staying at home, you want it to be done your way. Yeah. So you want, as we've talked about, you still want to go out. If you're living at, living at home on your own, with dementia, you don't drive, no family locally. How do you get out? How do you, how do you do those things that you can't do anymore? So this is where we come back to. I just, uh, we have got to you on the bus. Some nervous. Without being used. So it's simple. I can't quite catch what you're saying. Well, they have a road library. A robot, yeah. You know, these are really interesting discussions, which is going on in you know, the care sector now. It's, you know, how do we want to live? But some people really like connection, don't they? Mm -hmm. Some people are a robot. Okay, so community engagement is really, really key to what we do in terms of being able to provide that, that variety, that diversity of life that can really be taken away from you when you are getting frailer. On the right hand side there, um, what do you think you can see? Right on the right, two yellow jackets, what, what do you can see there? 
back to cargo. Thank. Anybody recognise exactly what it is? It's a It's a trishaw. Yes. So, so it is a trishaw. So cycling without age, and on that trishaw, we've got a pilot at the back in the yellow for cycling without age um, a waistcoat, and also someone walking beside. And on the front of that trishaw, there is a lady who um, went to Cambridge, studied classics, and then she worked foreign foods and get majest. Mm. Um, next to her is one of my members of staff, Kay. Uh, the lady is in um, a care home now, but she uh, lived independently, again, with dementia, for about six years on her own. And that's my mother-in-law. So, so uh, she lived, um, as I say, independently. She's now in a care home. She came out of the care home to come to our event. Okay. Um, and I'll talk about the event in a, in a moment. Um, and then we've got a mixture of other, because we're involved with sweet three or four projects which are all going as part of the Enliven, where we took people out of Trishaw, we did some filming, you saw the lovely film that um, was being played during, um, during the lunch break, one Joyce, Joyce, um, and also some other um, projects out with fights, because some people were more capable to do things beyond the trishaw. Uh, lovely Nicola there. Mm. <coughs> so, Tavistock Dementia Alliance. So this is all about partnerships, isn't it? So this is all about not just home instead, but other, other partnerships that you can put, pull people together. So, um, it's all about convening people, influencing people, putting people together. This is really how we got involved with Enliven and how um, all the different organisations I'm talking about today got involved and made the project possible. Um, I'm the only one to mention businesses. I know um, Stephen spoke about it a bit, but nobody else is saying, let's involve businesses. Good. Put that out there as, why don't you? Okay, and maybe we should involve businesses a bit more. Yes, they make a profit, but they want to engage. Okay, so it's all about bringing people together and, to and talking. Both, both pictures there involve MPs. We actually get our, our MPs, you've got uh, Jeffrey Cox there, you've got Mel Stride, who are all trying to influence for us. You may not like them, you may not like what they, they represent, but if they're working for your community and they're working for your, their constituency, they have a good influence. So they were really supportive of one of the projects we've done. And they celebrate them themselves. They put them up on social media. So it, it broadens the knowledge base of all those things. And then, of course, there's somebody also right here who, um, the two days before um, our event in the Dartmoor National Park, um, I Fix used to give me a regular slot on Radio Devon um, with my charity hat on. And then he'd give me a platform. And two days before our event, in the National Park, he gave me a platform to talk about the event. He just set me up and let me go. So again, it's a partnership, isn't it? Mm. And off the back of that, telling people what's coming, some other people came down from, uh, with learning difficulties that kind of go on the drive show as well to the event. So it was, you know, we were allowing other people to get involved. So Cycling Without Age, um, West Devon East Cornwall, so it's a separate charity. We founded it, um, uh, founded it in 2019. We got our first trishaw in February 20. And then what happened next was your vote. So the trishaws are, uh, as you see, two seats on the front. Um, what do you think about sitting on the front there? What, what, what brings, brings to mind? You don't uh, great thing. Get a great view, great. Thanks, Chris. Anything else? Does it look safe? No. Mm -hmm. No. It's it, got the seatbelt clean. They've got seatbelts on. Yeah. It's it. You sit back quite a way. It's all about the safety. It's all about the risk assessment. It's all about the route. Okay. Um, it's all about probably involving some people you trust in the first place. So. 
having a look at that picture on the right here, this was at an event we did for Enliven, um, which Stephen's wife, uh, Joanne, did a fantastic evaluation. We worked with Dartmoor National Park and South West Lakes Trust, Tavistock Memory Cafe. I'm involved, cycle that age, of course. Um, I'm, in, I'm a member of two cycling clubs. So we had members who were pilots coming down, um, all trained. Uh, if you look at the, the track there that the Trishaw is on, it has been specially um, adapted by Dartmoor National Park to allow um, for wheelchairs, for buggies, but also for a trishaw. So they made sure it was wide enough for a trishaw. So the trishaw, it's got an electric battery, so it's not hard to cycle. It's a little bit hard to steer. You've got to practice a bit. You don't go very fast, go at walking pace. And it's all about the chat. It's all about the connection. It's all about everyone has the right to feel the wind in their air. And that's the beauty of, of this project. It's also fairly, Stephen talked at the end in the, yeah, the yellow stage back, innovative. It, it is quite, it's very happy. People want to talk to you when you're on the tribe shore. So you see in the other picture, that is in Tavistock, in the meadows, in the middle of the town centre, coming along the canal, there's a, um, there's a playground um, down below. So everyone's there to talk to. So it brings people across to you to have a chat. And that's what it's all about. <clears throat> so we don't stop, we do this all the time. The event with Dartmoor National Park was big day, which was fully evaluated. We had to do all of the many things that you've talked about today in terms of visitor experience, um, in terms of toilets, <laughs> in terms of tins and coffees and cake and uh, etc. But one thing we've actually all missed today a little bit, and I know it's not in every case, but looking after your volunteers. This involved a great deal of voluntary help. Um, Heather in the blue t-shirt there, she um, heads up Tavistock Memory Cafe. She's been doing it now for the last 20 years as a volunteer. She's probably the most responsive, non-paid person I've ever worked with. And I mean that. She is like that on an email. She is so responsive. She takes calls from people all the time. She works far too hard. She is a volunteer and all her follow people are volunteers. <laughs> all the pilots are volunteers. So you've got Roddy and Sheila on the trishaw there with um, Bill. Roddy was a Royal Marine, so was Bill. So, lot repartee. And Roddy is at a stage where he's starting to find it very difficult to speak. But he comes alive when him and Bill are bantering about, about this and that in the military, because it's a language at times. So, yes, the bikes are expensive, but once you've got them, it's quite a little bit maintenance. It's a little bit of maintenance. Uh, they're about ten thousand pounds each. Um, but once you've got it, it trained up your volunteers. You could have this anywhere. So I was thinking, Q, Beamish. It could be again the community group that got involved. It's a lovely project, and um, it's across. It's international now. It's it's all over the place. Um, you need more trishaws because they're of course they're quite hard to transport. So we're probably going to have, you've got two down, Weymouth area's got eight. We'd probably end up in a similar territory. So you should see more of these. They should be much more available to people and community groups, hopefully in spring up everywhere. Because it is just joy. It's a joyful project. And the connection with nature was enormous, particularly on the Baratal project, very close to water and see what's in the water. Uh, we talked about the forest um, with the rangers, talked about the birds, all the canal, we have resident kingfishers. So it's just a fantastic experience for everybody to um, be able to get really close to talk about it, but have the time to talk about it, talk about it with interested people. So I'd encourage you to connect with a cycling with that age group if, if there's one in your area. Um, they are dotted around. I know this is uh, in Scotland. I think they were some of us first. There's one in Exeter. Um, so, you know, within the Devon area, 
uh, and then across the country, they're springing up all, the, all over the place. National Lottery, love it. Well, I did a 45 minute grant application and um, got the money, got 10 grand of in two weeks. So, you know, it's, it's there to exploit. Yeah, why not? It's all about partnership. I couldn't, I couldn't um, help but put a lovely picture of uh, Dartmoor, Widgery Cross at Dartmoor up. So Dartmoor National Park, fantastic. I, I, I've got to say, I wish they were all here today how fantastic it was to work with them. Andy from uh, Dartmoor National Park and James. Tamsock Memory Cafe, I've just mentioned Heather already. Um, and, her volu- and all the volunteers, just fantastic people. Um, Oakey Memory Cafe. So um, Steve, um, Steve Milton from Innovations and Dementia, who's just come back in, um, has been working very closely with Oakey Memory Cafe to produce some of the films that you watched at um, at lunchtime or after lunch, beautiful films where I think, um, some of our participants could come out into the community, out into Dartmoor, and sit and talk about what nature means to them. And um, Steve, I don't know when those films are going to be playing. I know they're not quite playing yet. So. Very soon. <laughs> I only saw them in their entire to dogs, not eat. No. If they get it. So they will be up on, on the United website very, very soon. But, so. I have I've actually forgotten to put um, Innovations in Dementia down as a partner. So Innovations Mid, but fantastic film company, bigger film production. They don't have bigger house, house, bigger house. Beautiful. If, it, if you ever get to work with them, oh, just the most sensitive way. And it was not just um, so it was not just people with dementia being filmed. They were doing the filming. They were doing the sound. Uh, they were doing the lightning, and the carers were involved doing the filming. It was absolutely, you know, it was made by them. It's beautiful, sensitive, and walks it all. We don't miss anything out. There were two. <laughs> but that's important. Uh, to Radio Devon. Other people to, to, um, to talk about um, community links, uh, local organisation. Um, Earth Captain Queen's the Recre- Recreation Association. All these people we partnered with, and it's just been bringing them together to talk to, and that's what it's all about. So, what I'd like to see you to take away today is um, it is all about. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, look, when users have said uh, local cycling clubs, you know, you might think they're really fit people, but in there, two of those people were really high level triathletes, but they're still very good at. Head to Any questions?